when I really, you know, said the sinners over again, born in church, raised right. in church, right. said the sinners over every time we had church, okay. you know, but I don't think I really meant it until I got, you know, to be uh, 12 or so, what I really understood what I was saying. Okay. Now, I got saved at 12, but then I got out of the fellowship of God mm -hmm. um, at about 17, 18, 19. Okay. Um, so I recommitted my life back to Christ at about 24. Amen. 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 What about you, Elder? Elder Victor Blackshear. That's the Elder on the end. Uh, I'm a lot like Brown, but I wasn't a, a church boy. I was just a last kid kid. Uh, just growing up, parents working, I kid, got the key, get in the house, they locked in the house, until so the parents go away, then get out of the house, go to the neighborhood and do what you do. Okay. Uh, I got saved around the age of 12 as well, Amen. but likewise, I just got back out in the world and, and just did nothing, nothing special. Yeah. Women, cussing, fussing, fighting, yeah. but, but nothing, nothing serious, you right. know, mm -hmm. didn't get addicted to anything, but I was just out there in the world. Oh, yeah. And I realized that it's, it's, it's not right. It just didn't feel right, right. not so right. I mean, mm -hmm. even I, when I got saved again, because mm -hmm. I didn't just get saved at 12, I think I got saved at 13, <laughs> 4, 14, 15. <laughs> but finally, somewhere around 21 okay. is when mm -hmm. reality hit me, yeah. mm -hmm. that the true way is over here on Christ's side. Amen. And it seemed like the more I started doing what the Word of God told me to do, the more blessings began to flow in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every time I got away from the will of God, the blessings went away in my life. Amen. True testimony. When I was in high school, trying to do that save, and I say I was on and off, hot and cold. <clears throat> I broke into somebody's locker one day. Okay. That's just, you know, that's something, about, something we used to do back in the day, just right. so we can get out of somebody else's locker. Well, the week before, man, I was begging my mama for some converses. You know, back in the not day. Chuck converse? No, no, just converse. I want to Chuck Taylor. But they were tight comments. Okay. And so my mom, my mom, they paid for them. Finally, I got them, man. I'm, I'm, they squeaky clean. Got them mm -hmm. in my, my locker. A week later, I break into somebody else's locker, take some stuff. And then I get back to my locker. Somebody got you. Gone. Gone. <laughs> gone. And right then, I heard the voice of the Lord say, See, you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. And I learned right there, I said, Man, God must be real. Because yeah. yes, yes. every time I break his commandments, it seems like my back get broken. Yeah. Yeah. But as I got older, man, like I said, around 21, I said, You know, I'm going to just go ahead and do full hard. I'm going to go hard for the Lord. And ever since then, man, I've been blessed. Amen. Amen. You know, Amen. What about you? I, I know Virgil got an awesome testimony, but let me just interject <laughs> real quick. It's so funny because to hear Victor, Victor in um, my testimony, mm -hmm. you know, it's similar, right? You know, we did little mischievous things, looked real <laughs> hard. But the silly thing about my testimony is, in the midst of all the foolishness that I thought I wanted to do, mm -hmm. I was still listening to gospel music, man. Yeah. Wow. I was still listening to gospel music. <laughs> right. Help me understand. <laughs> so, so you tell me what, what, what your parents <laughs> clearly at a young age. It was still up. That man. word. It was still train them up. It was still up. And the way this shit goes. That's right. Yeah. They depart. Yes, sir. They know how to come back. Yeah, to come so, back. so you telling me that even at a young age, that 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 word is true. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't care how far you try to run away from it. I don't care how much of it you try to drink or smoke or mm -hmm. sex or whatever out of your life. Right. If it's been planted and it's done take, taking root, mm -hmm. then you ain't gonna be able to get rid of it. Amen. Right. Amen. You ain't gonna be able to get rid of it. Amen. 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 Well, I tell you what, man. Before I get into um, me being young and being saved, um, Mr. Brown just touched on something very good, and you also said something about training of a child in the way they should go. Right. The Bible says when they get old that they won't depart from that way. That's right. But sends a signal that once you give them that foundation, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where they go at in life, they have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes. And that's what you need in order to be set free. Mm -hmm. And I think in this generation, I know we'll get into it a little bit later, mm -hmm. uh, but I think the, the old school generation, of yeah. uh, the grandparents yeah. and, the, and, and my parents, right. um, they made you go to church whether you wanted to or not. Amen. You know, you were in church, you probably didn't like church, but no, you were in there. Exactly. Yeah. And even though you was in church and they didn't want to be there, that word was still constantly flowing over your ears. Mm -hmm. And I think that the absence 
of parents now mm -hmm. uh, transferring that word to their children, yeah. we find our generation getting further away from God because they're really getting further away from the word. That's right. Uh, the parents are, are not passing the baton. You know, if you go to the Olympics, they have relay races. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's important for one runner to pass the baton to the next. Yeah, right. And if that runner don't pass on the baton to the next, then the next runner can't complete the race yeah. because the baton has not been passed. Yeah. And what has happened is, is that that baton of the word of God has begun to, it has failed to make it to a particular generation. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't get passed to that generation, it is impossible for that generation to complete the race that's because right. they don't have the necessary material. Yeah. And so that's where we as the church come in, where we have to step in and be the big brothers and the big sisters Amen. for those young people that don't have the parents that would deliver the word. Yeah, if we right. would not be afraid because sometimes we're afraid to share the gospel because maybe they got flats in their head or yeah, gold. Right. I don't care how they look, pants, saggy, thong, got with weed. You could be smoking weed if you want to. And yeah. I tell you about Jesus. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. but that's where we come in at. Okay. So, okay. I just want to on that. But I got saved at a young age. Got saved at the age of, of uh, 10. Got baptized in the Holy Ghost at the age of 13 when the other is speaking in tongues. Um, went to high school, man, and, and got away from the fellowship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And around about the age 16, uh, God, you know, revisited me, man, and, and gave me an experience that I couldn't turn loose. Yeah. And from that point, man, I went back to my high school not wanting to be the same and God so graced me to hook up with other young people that were saved, started a prayer group, uh, a Bible study. And, and we didn't change the whole school, but we were able to show a light to our generation. You yeah. know, and so I just thank God for being saved at a young age. I got married at the age of 19 and, uh, you know, got three babies later now. But yeah. so many things that I'm blessed with now, mm -hmm. I was blessed with. My, I am blessed with because I chose to serve God at a young age. And I would tell any young person. Uh, you ain't got to sell dope. You ain't got to That's flip right. your money. You ain't got That's to flip your change. Right. If you want to be blessed, if you sell out to the Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have blessing that you that you think not of. I mean, you won't even be smart enough to receive this That's stuff. Right. But when the favor of God is upon your life, yeah. trust me, there is no better blessing claimed yeah. than serving the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you tell me at a young age, God can bless us like that, oh, as right. a teenager, That's 12, right. 13, 15 years old, That's God right. can do it. Oh, do yes, it, baby. Right. Talk to me. I mean, can, Okay, you said the parents not in place, mm -hmm. but that those like us were saved at a young age. 